a shalom 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 first and foremost i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai waharuka kodash yahweh is the true name of the most high power of israel yahweh shai is the true name of his only begotten son the one whom the world ignorantly calls jesus yeshua christ and other names Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few Aquat sisters who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah. From the GMS Italy camp, and I just wanted to do this quick lesson entitled Belshazzar and the Vessels of the Most High Yahweh. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying. So, this is the year, this is the year of the turning up of our Lord. Hopefully, okay. So, all the saints in their right mindsets should be hoping the Son of the Most High. Yahweh Shai turns up this year, you know, because all prophecies are breaking loose. We only have one major prophecy left, and we know once that prophecy comes out, you know, we're out of year, you know, and that prophecy is the MOTB, that of inserting the microchip in under your skin, you know, and we already see that that's already taking place in various parts of Europe, like Sweden. You know they're already speaking about it here in italy as i as i'm speaking to you right now so we know that's the major prophecy we are waiting for and you know salvation is close though it's not going to be easy but we have the promises of the most high yahaba shem yahushai it's going to keep us safe in these times of tribulation of great tribulations so anyway there is this story in the scriptures the story of belshazzar you know the king of babylon so i'm going to show you how this story you know can also be referred to us spiritually in these days and hopefully it's going to be edifying so i'll start reading from the book of daniel chapter 5 which says you know belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the, the thousand belshazzar while he tasted the wine commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in jerusalem that the king and his princes his wives and his concubine might drink therein so here they were actually having a feast and you know they were drinking you know the spirit got on him and he decided to bring out the vessels which his father nebuchadnezzar's you know ripped off the, the Israelites, while he was taking them captives, you know. So the vessels, they brought them out to drink. And these vessels can represent us today. Because remember, ourselves, we are vessels unto the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. you know. Let me bring up one scripture. As you know, our body is a temple. That's found in the book of um, 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. So it says, "Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwells in dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which ye are." So we are, we are actually temples of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. The spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, the Ruka Kodash, you know, dwells in us. So this can rec represent, you know, these vessels can represent we today. And Belshazzar represents the king of Babylon. In which, in this modern day Babylon, you have the bank banking families that are ruling this kingdom in wickedness. With the from with the biblical um nationality of Edom, Esau, the so-called Caucasian men, the so-called Caucasian race, you know, these are the kings, these are the, the wicked 
of the earth today that are running the earth in wickedness you know so they represent belshazzar and this is just to show you that you know everything in the scriptures was written at what time for our for, for our good today you know everything still point there is nothing new under the sun that which had been is still that which shall be at the book of ecclesiastes you know so okay let me read from verse 2 let me read from here that the king and his princes and his wives and his concubine might drink therein then they brought the golden verse vessels that were, that were taken out of the temple of the house of the Most High, which was at Jerusalem. And the king and his princes, his wives, and his concubine drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood, and of stone. In which, you know, ourselves, you know, we were taken out of our houses. You know, we were carried away captives in different parts of the world, you know. This major, this major thing, you know, came up in um 70 a.d when the romans came down to jerusalem you know did a whole great massacre of the of the hebrew israelites many had to flee for their lives many fled into europe many fled down into the western hemisphere of africa and later they were they were being taken from that same place and they were all taken to all different parts of the world most especially the united states where you have babylon today you know so we are actually the vessels of the Most High that have been stolen, you know. Then speaking of vessel, vessels, you know, they actually stole physical vessels as well. As well. But ourselves, you know, we are likened onto vessels, you know. So he says, and you know, they, they brought out these vessels, they started drinking with these vessels, and they were worshipping all different gods of iron and gold and brass and, you know, all these their wicked wicked um deities and that's exactly what esau is doing even today you know esau has taken us you know they, they sacrifice our children to different deities they sacrifice our babies to moloch you know through the the, the abortion clinics you know they they, they 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 they've actually built they've built everything that they have you know thanks to 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 the free 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 labor you know that they got through the slaves which are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, which are the which are the Israelite, the vessels, okay, that we're speaking of, you know. So that's what's happening here. In that same hour came forth fingers of men's hands and wrote over against the candlestick upon the place star of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed and his thoughts troubled him. So that the joints of his of his loins were loosed and his nails smote one against another. So these fingers, the king saw fingers writing on the wall. And these fingers can be likened to the prophets who are out there on the highways and the byways, you know, teaching this gospel, you know, waking the rest of Israel up, you know, and you know, pointing out the wickedness of the kings that are, that be, the kings of Babylon. That are actually ruling over us today so we are we are the fingers of the most high yahweh shim yahushai writing on the wall you know going out in the highways and the byways you know pushing this gospel pushing out this gospel heavily on internet and other platforms like odyssey beat shoot you know so we are actually the fingers of the most high you know we're writing on the wall and you know our writings are actually getting these people worried you know they, they've been they've been trying to put up different narratives you know to paint us you know as 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 as, as the wicked you know to paint us as as violent as as terrorist or whatever you know so everything that we're doing you know they're getting worried there is the scripture that tells you that you know um uh just roughly paraphrasing you know our issues have been taken to the gates of the nobles you know which let's see They've been brought to the gates of the nobles. You know, these people actually knows about us. They know very well about us, you know. They're actually, you know, preparing a, a narrative. Okay. 
gate of the nobles can say lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain exhort the voice unto them shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles you know so we are actually lifting up a banner you know teaching this truth going out you know we can and we out we out you know we are exalting the voice you know we're writing on the walls you know we're proclaiming the wickedness of this kingdom you know and our our our, our issues are being taken to the gates of the nobles you know Verse 7, it says, The king cried out to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, Whosoever shall read this writing and show me this interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. And this goes into, you know, the scientists that the government, you know, they've hired you know, all the all the all the so called wise men of this kingdom, the soothsayers, the Chaldeans, you know, your gate watchers, the bullets, you know, the pastors, the fake pastors like Creflo Dollar, um and all these people, you know, um the artists, the, the actors and all these people that are part of the agenda. You know, these are the soothsayers of, of, of this kingdom right here. These are the, the the main anyway, the astrologers and the and the Chaldeans are the what do you call it the scientist you know and you know they're putting up different concoction you know to try to figure things out try to change the course of 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 the destiny of how things are meant to be in which the most high has already written the the the, the end right from the beginning they can't change anything you know so you have them you know they they, they do deep searches man they spend all the money of um of, of the taxes, you know, in making all these wicked researches, how to get into your gene, how to modify you, how to do all different kinds of wickedness, you know. <laughs> and what happens is, you know, these people are paid heavy money, you know, for deceiving you. They're paid a lot. You know, those are the chains of gold around their neck, you know. They, they've been paid a lot in order to do all these wicked things to, you know, to shift your, to move your attention, you know. So verse 8 says, Then came in all the king's wise men, but they could not read the writing or make known to the king the interpretation thereof. Then was Belshazzar greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed the name, and his lords were astonished, you know. These people, you know, no matter what they do, they can't change the course of, um, of they can't change the, the most high's judgment, you know. They get always astonished because the more they try to dull us down, poison your food, poison your water, the more enchantments that they do, you know, jakes are still waking up, you know. Those whom the most high Yahaba Shimi Al Shai has ordained to wake up, you know, we're waking up. Then we didn't we didn't we didn't go through all these their prestigious schools. Some bro some brothers had the opportunity to do so, you know. But majority of us, we didn't go through their prestigious schools. We didn't, we didn't have that much, you know, understanding. But the Most High gave us a spirit to understand these words, and in which these words are are, are really the, the the true knowledge to to have. You know, we know things that are deep. We know things that are that are hidden. Kalalah Yah Bashem Yah Shai. Through this, through His Holy Spirit, Ruka Kodash, we have this knowledge. You know. And these people are astonished because they try everything to put us down, you know, indoctrinate us in their schools and everything. But yet, we still come out knowing this truth, you know. Then was King Belteshazzar greatly troubled and his countenance was changed. The name and his lords were astonished. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king and his lords, came into the banquet house and the queen spake and said, O king, live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee, or let thy countenance be changed. There is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods, and in the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was found in him. 
whom the king Nebuchadnezzar thy father, the kings, I say, thy father made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers, for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding interpreting of dreams and showing of art sentences and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Belteshazzar, now let Daniel be called, and he will show thee the interpretation. Now Daniel's interpreted, and uh, Daniel interprets the handwriting on the wall. Then was Daniel brought in before the king, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, "Art thou that Daniel, which art of the children of the captivity of Judah, whom thy king, whom the king my father, brought out of Jubi? I have even heard of thee that the spirit of the gods is in thee." And that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. You know, this knowledge of ours is actually, you know, light, understanding and excellent wisdom. You know, because it's pure. It's untampered. It comes directly from the Most High, Yahab HaShem Yahushai, through His Holy Spirit, the Rukah Kodash. Verse 15 says, And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof, but they could not show the interpretations of the things. And I have heard of thee. And you see, in, in many of these high institutions that you find, you know, Esau's, you know, progressing in different parts of technology and all these things, they have lots of jakes between them. They have jakes amongst them, you know, but they always hide the fact that these jakes are amongst them. You know, for example, the dude, the brother, the guy that, that actually, you know, created the codes to make the internet, you know, whose name is um Philip Emia Emia Gwali, okay, who is a Nigerian, you know. This guy is the one that actually, you know, is the inventor of the web, of the internet as we know it today. Just like many other inventions that, you know, these so-called Negroes have Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, they, they've done. But Esau, you know, he suppresses all these, all these things and pays them off, you know. Now, let me jump to... Let me jump to verse 17. It says, Then Daniel answered and said before the king, Let thy gift be to thyself and give thy reward to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king and may no, make known... To him the interpretation. O thou king, the most I, Yahweh, gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. And for the majesty that he gave him, all people, nations, and languages trembled and feared before him, whom he would, whom he would he slew, and whom he would he kept alive, and whom he would he set up, and whom he would he put down. But when his heart was lifted up and his mind hardened in the pride, he was disposed from his kingly throne and they took his glory from him. And he was driven from the sons of men and his heart was made like the beast and his dwelling was with the wild asses. They fed him with grass like oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven. Till he knew that the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai ruled in the kingdom of men, and that he appointed over it whomsoever he will. So, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know, he puts men in power. He does every dumb thing, man. There is nothing that happens in this world that's not sanctioned by the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. He puts people in positions, you know. So this man in power right now that is, you know, is feeling like, you know, is he, he, feeling like he got into power through his own, his craftiness, you know, to his biggest surprise is going to fall. Speaking of Esau, Edom, the men in power right now, the so-called Caucasians, you know, they are going to fall to their greatest, you know, surprise because it's the most high Yahweh Shemeshai that does everything. He puts whomsoever he wants in power. And that minute, that day, that hour, that second, the Most High says it's over, then it's over. There is nothing you can do, you know. This new world order that is, uh, these devils are planning, you know, <laughs> they're going to be surprised, man. It's actually a new world order, but for the so-called Israelites, we're going to be the ones in power. You know, their plans are not going to come. This is the book of um, Second Samuel. Is it chapter 2? 
I believe verse 6. I've run out this precept sometime. It says, And now the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, shows show kindness and truth unto you. Excuse me. Is it second Samuel? Excuse me. Let me try. Second Samuel. No, first Samuel. Excuse me. Let me try. Two. Six. Can. This is the book of first Samuel, chapter two, verse six. It says, The Lord Yehovah Shem Yahushai kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord Yehovah Shem Yahushai make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raises he raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And he had set the world upon them. So the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai runs this show, man. No one runs it. This man is not in power because he is, he is intelligent as he claims to be the Aryan race, the most advanced race, you know. Rather, they are actually the basest of men. You know, it's the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai that kept him in that position in this time, you know. And you can go read um the book of Daniel, chapter 7. You know, speaking on, on, on the vision which was given to, to Daniel. You know, regarding the kingdoms. This is the end of all kingdoms. You know, the kingdom that is coming now is going to be a kingdom that will rule forever, and that's the kingdom of the saints. You know, run by the son of the Most High Yahweh Shai, then um, King David. You know, and the rest of the one hundred and forty-four and the rest of Israel. You know. So he says, going back. It says in verse 22, it says, And thou, son, O Belshazzar, hast not humbled thine heart, though thou knewest all this. Just like this wicked in power today, they don't humble themselves, you know. But they actually know about the power of the, of, of the Israelites. They know. That's why they try to suppress, suppress us, you know, give you a renaissance name, Jesus names that have no power. You know, they steal the truth and twist the truth around. They pay people to deceive the, the mass, you know. So he says, But thou hast lifted up thine thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his father house before thee, and thou and thy lords and thy wives and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and the god of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, not hear, or no, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose they they all um and who and whose are all thy ways thou hast not glorified, you know. So just like um these people, these devils in power right now, you know, they've taken they've taken the sons of Israel, which we are the vessels of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know. They've, they've done all every filthy thing they want to do with Israel. You know, they've used us, you know, and they give thanks to their to their to their to their idols because this these nations were, were were actually created to to worship idols, you know. They worship all different kinds of deities, you know. And it says, Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and his writing was written. Just like the the, uh, the prophets are being sent to the highways and the, and the byways, the prophets represent the hands, you know, and these words are the writing, you know. It says, and this is the writing that was written, mene, mene, tekel, ufasin. This is the interpretation of the tin, mene. God had numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Just like the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, has numbered the kingdom of these wicked Edomites, you know, and it will finish it, you know. There is nothing it can do about it, you know. At that moment, at that time in which, you know, his kingdom is coming to that end, he can't add a second to it, you know. It says, 
thou art weighed and thou um, tickle, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. You know, just like these people right here right now, the skin on, they are found wanting. They've committed all different kinds of abominations. You know, they have in possession the vessels of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, which are the, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latino. You know, they've done all sorts of wickedness that <laughs> you can't even think of. This is the book of Revelation 18. 18. In their possession is found the souls of men, man. It says, Can. This is speaking about Babylon, America, the United States, you know, the wicked ruler of the rest of the world through their wicked democracy. It says, and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour. These are the things that were found, okay? You know, she was found with all this. You know, it says, let me read from 9. It says, and the king of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning because um a judgment is fire through destruction of nuclear weapons you know standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come so these are the things that were found with her so check this out. It says this and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. So these people they have in their possession souls of men. You know, they've killed a lot of people. You know, they harvest babies' blood for adrenochrome, do all kinds of wickedness, you know. So these people are actually found wanting. You know they've been they've been weighed on the balance you know thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting so peres it says thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians just like the kingdoms of these Edomites are going to be divided and given into the hands of the Israelites okay it says then command then commanded Belshazzar and they clothed Daniel with scarlet and put a chain of gold about his neck and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. In that night was Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. So this, this, um, these Edomites, they are going to be slain, you know. They are going to suffer for a thousand years, you know. Help us build a, a kingdom and go into hardcore slavery. Then they are going to be all destroyed because... They've committed a sin unto death, you know. Now let's let's prove it to you that they've committed a sin unto death, because they are actually going to be judged by the law. You know, the Most High is is holy, his laws. This is going. This is the judgment that they're going to get. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-four, verse seven, which quotes, "If." A man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel. Esau has been found stealing the Israelites, taking them slaves and captives for all this time. Says and make it merchandise of them. They sold us, you know, into slave boats, into auctions and different kinds of things, or sell it him. Then that thief shall die, and thou shalt put away evil from among you. Let me read it again. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel and make it merchandise of him, and make it merchandise of him or sell it him, then that thief shall die, and thou shalt put away evil from among you. So Esau is found wanting and he has disobeyed this commandment, you know. So he was actually, you know, created as the wicked. So his judgment is death, you know death to babylon death to to the edomites you know this is their end and they can't change it because the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai has proclaimed this so it says in that night was belshazzar the king of the chaldeans slain okay and darius the median took the kingdom being about three score and two years old so 
that's how the king this kingdom is going to be given to the hands of the israelites but this time around they are going to be destroyed with fire okay they're going to be destroyed with fire the nuclear missiles you know you can get that from the book of revelation 18 so this story is beautiful because you know while i was while we were teaching you know yesterday you know we brought out the scripture and you know the spirit actually directed me to give me this you know this idea of the scripture so we being the vessels of the most high yahweh shimmy outside we've been carried away by the wicked you know and the wicked is going to get his judgment because you don't do such things with the properties of the most high we are actually a people set aside to be for the most high you know anyone who touches us touches the apple of the most high's eyes and they have to pay for it hey this is the time that you really want to find yourself you know doing the right things that the most high you know really wants you know no time to play games because the most high is bringing out judgments this year's this year is going to be a really year, a year like never before you know a really heavy and wicked year man so you really need that protection from the most high yah bashem yah shai do the right thing you know and hold on to the words of promise that the most high has given us you know hey hopefully this lesson was edifying i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai waharu kakudash on to the next one shalom